hello guys and welcome back to the channel so guys of course the amotecon storyline continues to gain traction and this time nandikano is weighing in with this uh position so with that i bring you um this i will give yorubas 1 million ipod members to support amotecon and this is a headline credited to nandi kano so that's the headline again i will give yorubas 1 million ipod members to support Amoteko and this is uh, Nandekano saying this. So now let's now see what the, they've told me not to call him the Igbo uh, leader anymore because a lot of my uh, followers are correcting me on this, but a leader certainly of the IPOB movement. So let's see what the IPOB leader has to say on this. The leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, Mazi Nandekano, has in a live broadcast on the 15th of January, promised to give a million IPOB members to support the Yorubas. Recall that reactions has trailed the introduction of Amotekun in the southwest region of the country. For example, Mieti Kuteharu has expressed worry over the introduction of Amotekun, saying that the outfit will be deployed against innocent herders. A section of the southwest political class is in alliance with the Biafrans that are calling for the balkanization of the country. Mieti Kutehari therefore condemned the security outfit given its reasons that it would affect the region's chances of producing the next president in 2023. In view of its comments, Nigerians have taken to social media to lash out at Mieti Kutehari condemning the group's statements and hypotheses. Recall also that the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami had insisted that the inauguration of a paramilitary organization Amoteku is contrary to the provisions of the law. His words, the setting up of the paramilitary organization called Amoteku is illegal and runs contrary to the provisions of the Nigerian law, Malami said in a statement by his media aide, Umar Jubrilu Gwandu. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, as amended, has established the Army, Navy and Air Force, including the police and other numerous paramilitary organizations for the purpose of defense of Nigeria. He stated, he further stated, no other authority at the state level, whether the executive or legislature, has the legal authority over defense. However, reports has it that President Mohamed Bari is currently having a meeting with security chiefs to discuss security operations in the country. We believe that Amotekun would equally be a subject of discussion in the meeting. So now here are some of Nandekano's views as he expressed them. I will support Amotekun with 1 million men to destroy the Fulani Caliphate. I will support this generation of Yorubas that set up Amotekun. IPOB will work with them. If they want 1 million men, I will give them to make sure the Fulani Caliphate is stopped. We will support the Yorubas in all ways and forms that is necessary. IPOB will back the Amotekun security outfit. Amotekun is not going anywhere. They are here to stay and IPOB will support them. But it still carries on. This generation of Yorubas are different. I love men like Baba Ayo, Ade Banjo, Yinka, Ade Maki, and my good friend and in-law, Femi Fane Kayode. We will support them in their struggle and fight for Amotekun and for freedom. So this is what Nandekano has to say in response to the Yoruba outfit Amoteko. Of course, you would always imagine that uh, uh, Nandekano will weigh in favor of anything one that he feels weighs against the Fulani Caliphate as he puts it. And of course, you know that Nandekano is friendly with the Yorubas as well. He's good friends with uh, uh, Fani Kayode, at least we know that. And of course, now he's now giving us a list of names that uh, he admires too. So he will always align himself with 
this sort of amotecons type thing because of course this tallies with this owner worldview and what is agitating for so there's no surprises here to hear nandi kanu now uh echo his name in this conversation now that is going on within the southwestern space and indeed in the all of the entirety of the nigerian space that this security outfit is something that is needed and is something that must stay so this is something that now must stay but they're not saying that uh buhari is having uh meetings with uh uh, security chiefs but then who are the security chiefs in nigeria is really where the question is this is just now to highlight how and um, why this amotecon thing is uh needed so buhari is having meetings with his security chiefs who are the security chiefs the army chief magashi and northerner the dss chief bichi and northerner the inspector general of police um adamu and Nodana. so who else is there who else is a security chief within the nigerian space outside of those three operators so that is the security of the country itself the navy is not really security chief because they are uh, offshore the air force is not really security uh, uh chief because they are in the air what is really directly to the people is the army and the police and uh, and the law so this is really the security structure of the country and all of the names heading those uh, di different departments are all northern names. Magashi, uh, Bichi, uh, Adamu, etc. Uh, Hamida, Hamida Ali, who is the custom guy. So all of these structures are headed by the uh, northerners and really none of those people have any real affinity or allegiance to uh, Yoruba land, they don't really care what affinity or allegiance does Magashi or Bichi or Adamu have to Yoruba. Of course, they don't. They they are not Yoruba people. They don't live in Yoruba land. They have no real interaction with Yoruba people. And Yoruba people are just some people that they have told them uh, belong to the same country as them. They don't really have any cognizance or any empathy for the or for or towards these people. Of course, they don't care about Yoruba people. And why should they really? It's really like you asking somebody from uh from oweri to care about somebody in uh yobe of course uh, he, he wishes them well but they don't really there's nothing really that aligns them in any way there's no commonality they don't speak the same language they don't have the same world view they don't share anything in common apart from being told that they are nigerians both of them so there's no affinity there so if you now have what you are calling a security structure which is just weighted in that direction and these people are now saying they want to set up their security structure then of course the conversation that they're going to be having is how to shut it down because even if they're not shutting it down from their sectarian and religion uh biases they are shutting it down from their economic and influence biases because if you look at the bias that these people would have towards their influence if you have a security structure within yoruba land which is controlled by the yoruba land that would impact on the uh, finances and uh and uh, influence of the nigerian police there's absolutely no question about that because once this um Amotekun thing is fully seated within the Nigerian space, then the Yoruba land will start asking for their own security uh, 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 monies or budget or whatever from the Nigerian police to say, look, since we are already securing our uh, area, whatever it is that should have been used to secure this uh, area should now be passed on to us so that we can now fully run this thing. So it's going to at some point caught into the policing budget there's absolutely no question about that is of course going to impact on the army as well because of course then that geographical space is now being controlled by the yoruba people so uh, a lot of these things a lot of these things is not in the interest of a lot of these people who are in this meeting making decisions on it so you can already see what the outcome of that uh, meeting is likely to be conversations in the comment section they're trying to shut it down well, will they or will they not? And Nandi Kanoa, by the way, is promising a uh, hundred uh, or, or million rather people. I'm not quite sure even even if his members are up to a million. But then, of course, that's Nandi Kano for you. Come share thoughts about all this with me in the comment section. But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button uh, notifies you every time I drop a new video. Then come tell me what you are making of these maneuverings around this uh, particular topic of Amateco in the comment section. So I'll leave you here. Carry on with you in the comment section. But here, 
I say peace.